Hey guys, we're back at our regular curriculum uh, for April 28th. We're back at the parables. Uh, this is unit 22, session four. And we have three parables this Sunday. It's the um, parable of the lost sheep, the parable of the lost coin, and then the um, prodigal son. So three really good ones, just showing God's love that when one is lost, um, he goes after him. So for the toddlers, we have the main point is back to Jesus told stories about God to teach us things. And then the gospel jams for this Sunday are Jesus told a story about God's love. The father was happy when his son came home and God is happy when, happy when we trust Jesus. Uh, we don't have crafts for this week, but we have a few activities. The first one is the pass the key passage card. Oops, shook y'all. I'm sorry. Uh, we're just going to um, sit on the circle, pass the key passage card that I have printed in your uh, folder. It's inside your folder with your curriculum. Uh, just kind of hot potato. So you play music. When the music stops, um, whoever has it, you ask them to repeat it. And then play hide and seek. You can do it in the room or outside if the weather is nice. Um, you know, you can search toddlers for high and low and say that in the stories today, we saw that Jesus, uh, the father, was happy when his son came back. And Jesus, uh, not Jesus, the shepherd, looked for the sheep that, that was lost. And then the last one is feed the pig, which um, I printed a little uh, pink little pig. You can put it on the floor or tape it on the floor. And I have um, bean bags for the kids to throw at it as if they were feeding the pig and they just need to land the bean bag on the little uh, uh, pink pig. And that's it for the toddlers. And then for the preschoolers, um, we have the activity sheet, which is just the little maze coloring page. And it's the story of the prodigal son. Um, uh, gather sheep is one of the activities you can do before or after large group. Um, I put uh, bags of uh, cotton balls in your uh, little bin. Sorry, the words are escaping me today. I don't know what's happening. Um, and then, yes, I do. It's called age, old age. <laughs> but you just scatter all over and then tell the kids to go and gather the sheep, the little cotton balls, and then they count. Um, and you can do it for a little while until it's fun. And then you can say, in today's Bible story, Jesus told three stories. One story is about a shepherd and a sheep. Let's listen and find out. Uh, and you can always compare and say that this is what God does uh, to find one of his children. Oh, I just dropped stuff. Okay, and then after large group, we have the small group activities, which there's no craft again. And if the weather is nice, please enjoy the outside. The kids have been missing that. We've been having some pretty days, so hopefully Sunday. It won't be wet and yucky. Um, Jesus loves me. You can um, sing that song and talk about how in all those stories, just review the story and talk about how in all those stories, Jesus is uh, teaching about God's love. And then play a come to the party game. And that's so you design, designate a little area of your room to be the party area. You, you choose one child to be the father and the rest of the kids are the sons. Um, and they wait on the other side of the room you play music, and when um, the father should, the father, one of the kids, should go over to the son, hold the hand, and lead him to the party. And the son of the party dances to the music while the father leaves again to get another son till uh, he brings everybody to the party. Uh, and you can play it again if the kids like that. And just talking about the prodigal son story. that, And then the find a sheep, a coin, and two sons, hang on, I dropped it. Um, I have this in your folder. So the sheep, the coin, and the two sons. And I, you ask the kids to close your eyes and you're gonna hide this or ask your helper to hide this in the classroom. It's right. Um, and the game is just to go look for it. Just a little review of the stories. And remember while they're playing, you can always review the story. Always be intentional with the games in your words. Um, Thank you so much for everybody that helped out on Easter. That was, it was great. We had a ton of uh, new families and everything went smoothly and it's because 
of y'all. We couldn't do it without you, so I really appreciate it. And one more thing, if you um, if you already have plans for the summer that you know you're gonna be gone and you need those Sundays off, please let me know. I know it, it doesn't seem like it's that close, but we're already um, trying to get the schedule uh, set for June and July, okay? I um, appreciate each one of you, and I'll see you on Sunday.